and welcome back. I hope you got on well with your brownies and I'm really looking forward to seeing some photos. So today I'm going to show you how to make scones. The reason I chose scones is because they're really simple, really tasty, mainly store cupboard ingredients and also a really great pastry skill to have up your sleeve. So let's get started. So the ingredients you need to make scones. 440 grams of plain flour, 80 grams of caster sugar, 80 grams of diced butter at room temperature, so I diced it about an hour ago, 30 grams of baking powder, and 150 grams of double cream, which is mixed with 150 grams of milk, semi-skim milk. Uh, so I'm going to flavour the scones today with sultanas, 50 grams, but um, if you don't have sultanas, that doesn't matter. You could use lemon zest, or you could use orange zest. Um, controversially, you could use chocolate drops, um, but there's lots of different things you can put inside, but we're gonna stick to the traditional sultanas. Okay, so I'm gonna add all my dry ingredients into my Kenwood. You can do this by hand, but obviously I'm not. Um, and you would just do the rubbing in method with your fingers. So that's the flour, the caster sugar, and the baking powder in. And now I'm adding the diced butter on top. Okay, now so you want this on a low speed and just paddle it until it's a fine breadcrumb. Okay, so I've been mixing my dough now for about three to five minutes on a low speed and it is good to keep an eye on it. So what you're looking to achieve is like a breadcrumb. So you can see there's no big lumps. And it, yeah, it looks like when you um, blend white breadcrumbs. So now that's blended, we can add the milk and cream. Straight in. Mix it in there. And then mix it on slow again until you've got your dough. Just coming together, you can see it's quite like rough. Now I'm gonna add my sultanas, or you can add your lemon zest or your orange zest here. Or you can just have them plain. Okay, so it's well mixed together, as you can see. It's all completely gathered into one lump, pretty much. Okay, now I'm going to get some flour on my bench. Just a light dusting. And take all the dough. Okay, so I've got all my dough here. I've got a sprinkling of flour on the base and on the top, which stops it sticking. And then I'm just gonna knead it by hand just to finish it. If it starts to stick, add another little sprinkle of flour and just knead it. So you're just trying to achieve like a nice smooth dough really really pretty smooth dough and this is for really traditional scones this recipe okay so I'm quite happy with that if you feel it's nice and smooth on the top and I'm going to show you how to wrap it so I take some cling film like this and pop the dough smooth side down, because you've kneaded it like bread. Pop it in the middle of your cling film. And then you're gonna make a parcel around it like this. My dough is probably about the thickness of two fingers. Flip it over. Now you're rolling the cling film on top 
with the rolling pin. This gives it a really, really smooth, even texture and fills it um, right up to the corners so that you've got a really smooth, even dough. And then I'm gonna put it like this in the fridge to chill for an hour, maybe two ideally. And that way your dough gets a really consistent temperature throughout. And that's how you get a really lovely even rise when you bake your scones. So pop it in the fridge, couple of hours, go off and have lunch, do some gardening, and then come back to it later. So I've taken my dough out of the fridge. It's been in there for two hours. You can see it's firm, really, really cold to touch. And um, it's nice and thick. So the joy of this is that when you take it out of the cling film, just flowering the surface so it doesn't stick, you only have a little bit of rolling to do and it, the dough will be at a thickness ready to cut the scones. So by already nearly having it in the shape before you put it in the fridge, means that the dough only needs a little bit of rolling out now and it's basically ready to cut. So you don't have to fight with your dough getting it into the perfect shape because it's pretty much already there. So, say it's about the thickness of my thumb. You can see it like that. Okay, so at this point, before you start cutting, you want to make sure your oven is set. Mine's at 195 with fan. And so whilst that is heating up, you can cut your scones. So I've got a five centimeter cutter here. Um, if you don't have a cutter, usually small tumblers, glass tumblers are quite good to use um, to get the same Size. So there you go, so you've got one and you just push down like this with your fingers, pop it out and if your cutter gets stuck you just dip it in flour and that should mean it presses through neatly. So keep cutting until you've used all of your dough and then I'll show you what to do with the trimming. So you cut all of your scones out and then you have your trimmings like this. What I do is I re-knead it into a ball and then um, cling film it just as I showed you how you would cling film the pat on before and then you could actually bake more scones in another hour or so and maybe freeze those ones um, soon after they've cooled and then they'd be lovely for you to defrost and have another day so don't waste your trimmings you could just roll and cut them straight away now um, but the rise will be a bit wonky on those and they'll be a bit more wonky so here I have my cut scones now you can use an egg wash and that's really pretty it gives it a lovely shine but you know we're watching our eggs at the moment because we're in lockdown so i'm just going to use milk today and you just want to brush the tops of the scones very gently with the milk if i was using egg wash I'd wait for the milk, uh, the egg wash to dry and I'd give them a second coat. And that's a real secret to getting a really, really um, golden, shiny top. But we're being frugal and careful with the times we're in, so I'm using milk. And you really don't want it running down the sides, you just want it on the top of the scones like so. Okay, so there they are. 
oven is ready and now I'm going to bake them at 195 for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so my time has gone off and I'm going to get my scones out. Here they are. And if you're not sure about checking whether they're cooked, you should be able to break them open like that. And it should be a nice springy crumb inside. So once you've let your scones cool for about 10 minutes, no more, make sure you enjoy them. And I serve mine with clotted cream and always raspberry jam. Um, but we don't have clotted cream at the moment. So I've just whipped up the rest of the double cream that I had in the fridge. And um, I've got some raspberry jam here, a cup of tea, because you can't enjoy without a cup of tea. And so you just break open the scone. See, it carries on cooking whilst you're letting it cool and it gets this lovely texture. Cream first. Bit of jam on top. Cup of tea. Yummy. So, let me know how you get on with your scones. And hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please feel free to email me. Bye!